a really friendly cat just came up to me on the street. He was like asking for pets and stuff and I was like, oh God, I can't leave him when he started walking into traffic. So I'm taking him to the 24 hour vet. They didn't find a microchip. He was rubbing himself on the woman who was scanning him. He was brawled out, showing his belly. He was so well behaved. Not like I was gonna just put him back on the street. I told the nurse, I don't know what to do. I don't have a cat. I don't know how this works. And she was like, hold on right there. She gave me everything I would need. I had my bike with me and now I had a cat. So I just called the cat an Uber and I'm biking home because the cat and my bike can't fit in the Uber. Thank you so much for being my cat chauffeur. No <laughs> oh my God. No problem. Kitty. Finally back. Cat. Bed and food. I don't think he was sure what our relationship was. Come on out. Clearly he looked like he had had a hard time on the streets and he has a little cut on his ear and his face was so dirty and he seemed like too nice a guy to live out there. Oh, there you are. Hi. Yeah, litter box. Everyone loves the can pop. I know. Oh, someone's hungry. Poor baby, he was so hungry when he got out of the carrier. It's like he hadn't eaten in days. Okay, he probably shouldn't eat all of it at once. He just kept eating and eating and eating. So he slept in the bathroom and he slept in his carrier mostly. He seemed to really like that it was fuzzy. Hey skinny boy. Want love? He was very needy and really wanted to be close to me. Yes. He just seemed to really want to be around us and to be loved. And I saw his more playful side come out. He seemed more relaxed. He wasn't so desperate for food anymore. He wasn't so worried. It was a magic moment, but I was also really nervous that I wasn't doing the right thing. I called my coworker, Lily. We both work at the Dodo. Her family has cats, and I was hoping to get some cat advice, and she helped me and comforted me. And I knew that Lily's parents were looking for an affectionate cat. Welcome to your new home. And I met Lily in a Dunkin' Donuts parking lot to do the handoff. Hey, girl. Hi. How are you <laughs> Name to be determined. Yes. All right. You ready? To Put him in the car and tried not to cry. And Gus Whoa. went to his new home. Guess who's here? We're ready. Look, we got a kid. I think we might. I, I think they're calling him Gus or Hi. Ginger Boy. You were a rescue hopper, look. What, what do you think, hopper? Sweetie. Yeah. Hello, sweetie. He's adapted very well. Is this the big city? Where were you anyway? Were you under the bed? He was when he first came in. 